this is why it was so important to know which leads were positive and which leads were negative and why it's important for them to both be facing the same way. We're going to pull out our lily pad board, check to make sure it's going to fit nicely in the area we're wanting it to go. Then we're going to create a knot at the end of our conductive thread and it is time to start sewing. I have a little bit of an extra long tail here so before I sew too much I want to clip those tails short so that I accidentally don't short out anything with that tail landing somewhere that it shouldn't and making a short in my connection. Next I'm going to stitch around the lead swirl I have created to get a good solid connection. I always recommend at least a minimum of three, but I really say you should do at least five. Depends on how much connective thread you have left. Then once you are sewn solidly around your swirl, you can move over to the lily pad button board batteries port that matches your LED. So for example, I am currently sewing the positive leg of my LED to the positive port of my lily pad button board. Then we're going to tie off and clip our threads nice and short. The next thing we're going to do is move on to the negative. 